We are looking to expand our programs to attract primarily the Hispanic market uh, and looking at the demographics and the numbers that you know, there's a tremendous opportunity for, for Freedom Boat Club to grow by attracting Hispanic boaters. Traditionally, uh, a lot of these um, Hispanic families are not boaters, they haven't grown up boating. We understand that there's, there's a lot of education that needs to happen. Uh, we need to um, not only get the club concept out to um, the Hispanic demographic, but uh, we're, we're still infants in the industry. So uh, as we continue to gain acceptance in the industry, it's only natural that other segments and other groups and demographics are going to realize you know, how, how important the boat club concept is to growing boating. The concept that we have with the training uh, with uh, the you know, variety of boats. Uh, we are a great stepping stone for uh, attracting new boaters. Okay, now Florida is one of the largest Hispanic populations, both in terms of uh, growth and overall population throughout the state. We believe that the boat club model is a great entry for the Hispanic market. It's affordable, it's easy, the training's provided. We help bring them in and teach them boating skills and get them actively engaged on the water. We've spent a significant amount of time training a multicultural marketing manager to help with our Hispanic initiative. His goal is to help us develop all of the tools we need to then stamp this out across the country. We learned that we can use a one-size-fits-all approach. The Hispanic community is very unique in, in the way they do their, their shopping and how they perceive uh, themselves within the community. So what we've done is, uh, aside from translating the materials to Spanish, is uh, customize our activities around what they do, participate and show up where they're at. Uh, the key to this type of activities is to be consistent. Our first steps when we launched our Hispanic initiative, first of all, was to research the marketplace so that we understood the size, the scope, and the composition of the Hispanic market. We looked to see what material was available when we first launched our program. We wanted to get as educated as we possibly could uh, be. And our best source initially was Frank Peterson of the RBFF and his agency, Lopez Negretti. They have done so much pioneering work. They shared their research with us and their findings. We also went to Discover Boating, who had provided uh, images available free of charge. And we used those initially before we did our own uh, shoot. But perhaps most importantly, now that we hit the ground running and we're working on the local level, is we've tapped local media and they are very much invested in our long-term success and they've shared with us all sorts of information, stats and statistics about the local market. They've plugged us to events and activities and we find that relationship is super important to develop and nurture. Secondly, I presented the findings to our CEO and um, I wanted to enlist his full support because I feel very strongly that you have to have top management support in order to uh, roll out a program like this. We translated all of the key sales and marketing materials uh, so that the Spanish community would have access to that information. Then we went out and did a custom photo and video shoot. We felt like if we were going to engage this market, we needed to be authentic. So our imagery had to be culturally relevant. And then finally, uh, as part of our initial steps, we launched a tab on our homepage in Espanol. And that had all of our key messaging so that when we began our marketing campaign and we drove them to the website, they would feel welcome from the get-go. One of the first recommendations I would have is do not start the conversations in Spanish simply because it's a Hispanic family. Talk to them in English. They're trying to fit in. They're trying to, to uh, be part of their community. Unless the prospect uh, asks you if you have somebody in, in staff that can speak Spanish, that they can communicate with them and they're, they're, they're more comfortable with it, have somebody that, that speaks the language that's able to, to engage them and that way uh, you'll have a, a higher rate of success with the prospect. It's very important for um, uh, recreational marine businesses to engage new markets. When you look at the demographic shift, specifically toward the Hispanic initiative that we're promoting, you can't argue with the increase in population. and. When you look at the decrease of traditional boat owners, the aging out of, of the baby boomers, uh, you have the millennials coming up that you know the, the industry is going after now, but you look at the, the sheer number of Hispanics in the United States, 
uh, it, it's, it's a demographic you can't ignore and uh, we're actually very excited about the opportunity to go after uh, this, this very large segment of, uh, of the population.